I know you're probably upset right now and you're possibly in your emotions. If you're trying to bring someone back, what you have to take in consideration is that spell work takes time. I know you've probably reached out to the person, you've probably texted them, you didn't respond. You called them, they didn't even answer your call. Like I was told when I was younger, it's funny when the rabbits got the gun. See, right now, you're doing the most. You've shown how much you want that person back. You've done everything. Well, I will tell you this, no one respects a beggar. When you show that you want the person or you desire them, sometimes it can push a person away, especially if they're upset and they don't want to talk to you. The best thing you can do is give that person their space. Let what you do consume them. Because as time goes on, like they say, distance causes the heart to grow fond. Now, it's hard, but you have to resist the urge, the urge to call that person, the urge to, oh, I need you, I need, you got to stop that, halt. Because when you do this, again, you're only pushing yourself into a deeper hole. When someone doesn't want to talk to you, the worst thing you can do is pressure them. because it's going to make your matter even worse. A lot of people try it and they get nowhere. Again, they only push themselves deeper into the hole they're presently in. The best thing you can do is do your work and let your work do what it needs to do. By all means, you can discard what I'm telling you at the moment, but I caution you not to do what you want to. You're going to have to exercise willpower. A lot of people out here that's doing this kind of work, they'll try to milk you. They'll say, oh, we need to do this, we need to do that, and you'll find yourself in financial difficulty in the long run. I'm not that type of person. What I tell you to do exercise self-control and patience I know it's painful but you will think me later trust me and trust the process Sorry. 